Hi guys! Hi besties! Hello! Welcome back to my channel! Or if you're new here, uh, my name is Daisy um, and this is just my video content. <laughs> uh, we do some beauty, we do some lifestyle, we do some vlogs, it's just all. It's kind of just a whole mess, but in today's video guys, we're going to be trying out a bunch of some new makeup. Not, I don't think a lot of new makeup. Um, so I have, um, I have some one size, I have some makeup by Mario, we have some ColourPop, we have some Revolution. So, if you are wanting to see my review on those products, then grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a shot of alcohol, <laughs> um, pray for your sanity, and continue watching. And we're just gonna go ahead and get started right into the video. What a wonderful. ColourPop Daisy Desert Collection. I had to get it, okay? Like, I'm not usually in the ColourPop launches. Like, I usually buy a ColourPop launch every two years, sometimes three years. So maybe they're starting to like actually think more about their like products. So guys, this is a beautiful palette. You cannot just use this for spring. Like you can use this in summertime. You can use this in the fall even. You can, even, you can use it year round, obviously. So they launched a palette and they, then they launched six um, Super Shock Shadow, um, a but I only got two of the sets. So I got, um, um, uh, I don't know what that, okay. So I got, um, this is the Flower Bud set. So this is Ray Day. And this is Water, Water Me. And I think I'm gonna use this set because I haven't um, really touched those yet. And then this one is the prom one. So this is Corsage and Boutonniere. And I've I've already played with this collection, guys. I I did a, a live on my Instagram. Um, you guys can go to my Instagram. Um, it's Daisy's X underscore. And I'll put it, pop it down in the description box where I did a um, where I did it on a live, but it's under my, um, IGTV videos and stuff like that. So yeah, I got that. And then I got two of the blushes, um, Margaret and Doozy as well. And then I obviously got, um, two of their, um, lip tints, lip stains, glossy lip stains. So anyways, we're going to start with the eyeshadow palettes. And I think I'm gonna use um, these two today because I haven't touched the um, that much. And I've touched the purple one. And I really, yeah, I just haven't, I haven't touched this one yet. All I've done is just swatch them. So we're just gonna go ahead and just get right in the blending, I guess. Cause I need P. Louise base on. Okay, so well, I'll put my base on. So um, I haven't ordered um, a lot of Super Shock shadows from, um, ColourPop in a long time and like um I really like listen I I I love the Super Shock formula but see there's a problem with it is that after you use it the first few times it starts to get dull really really fast and it starts to, it's like, it's like, it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's like really um, creamy and stuff on top and it's gorgeous. And then like after you, after you dip your finger into it or your brush after a few times, it starts to get dull and it's not as like shimmery anymore. So, and that makes me, <laughs> it makes me sad. So, but um, I haven't tried an ultra metallic before, I don't think. So like they have like their ultra metallic ones and then their ultra glitter ones, so. I like this green. Um, so there are um, six shimmers and six um, mattes in here. Um, but I kind of wish there was a matte in the green row. Um, like they're all, they're all, like I know this is a matte, but it's kind of dark for like a crease color. I, I say as I'm using it as a crease color. Uh -huh. um, it's like a really dark green. Kind of like a dark color. It's 
is called Water Me. And like, it's this beautiful, like, metallic. Like, look at that. That is gorgeous. Um, so I'm just gonna dip right in with my finger. Ugh. See, thing, I, see, this color is really nice. But the thing is, with me, is that I like, I like the sparkles and the glitter. So like, I like metallic glitters that like are, are like, like the glitters like shifting and stuff. So like, but it's, I do still like, I still like it. I don't hate this. Um. Okay. Let's see. Is this brush clean? Okay. And then I think we're gonna go in with um, Shasta. This look like. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's like a brown shimmer. Okay, so. Um, yeah, this just isn't my favorite. Um, okay. So what if I put that purple on top? Let's see, what if I put that purple on top? Because I do agree that it's very pretty. So the purple shade is called Ray Day. It's freaking gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't know, do we need something to add some glitter? Um, it doesn't, the weird thing about it is that it doesn't even look that green. Um, I don't know if I would call this even a green. It's like a green, it's like a green brown. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that this bottom color is a brown or a green? Because even on camera and in person, it, it looks like, it looks like grayish bluish. And I don't know if it's because I used, um, it might've been because I used this along with it too, but I like this. Like, I've been obsessed with grays and black colors and like, ugh, it looks so good. But um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just pop on some freaking, uh, we're, um, so the foundation today we're gonna be trying is a soft matte finish. So I'm gonna put um, some of my e.l.f. matte putty primer on. I'm just gonna rub it in. Speaking of e.l.f. guys, they just la they're they're launching their um, um, Duncan collection, and I'm most likely gonna buy it tomorrow because it's cute. So expect a review on that in the future. But um, the foundation. Okay, Cali, English. Um, so this is the new foundation. I don't know if you guys saw this on Trend Mood or Transtopia or whatever, um, but this looks so good. The packaging. So this is from Makeup Revolution. And this is the R I R L filter, and it's supposed to be oil-free, 16-hour wear, breathable, and it has claims saying that it's life in real life and then it's a soft matte finish. And um, I think um, there, I have to admit their shade range is kind of weird, especially for like medium skin tones, I, which they need to fix that. I really hope that they do. But um, 
this foundation is $13, I think. And um, I hope this is better than their their um, conceal and foundation one, you know, like the, the pump one. Because people would say that that's really full coverage and it wasn't full coverage for me. So, um, let me just go ahead and put some on my hand and see... that'll work okay so um i'm gonna do one side with a brush and one side with a sponge um so i'll just start with one pump and this is how much product you get so Okay, so that is with a brush, and let me look in the mirror. Um, so, um, I don't know, does it, does it claim full coverage? Um, I don't know if it claims full coverage, but I do agree that it is soft matte. Um, I can still see peak some of my redness and my few freckles um, on here. Um, so, um, let me um get with a sponge real quick on the other this other side so there's that make sure you guys can see that Okay, so I just did some light bronzer with the um, putty bronzer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And now I wanna talk about the Makeup by Mario. So I've used this once and I used this at my on my concert day. And guys, I think I'm obsessed about, well, let me let me do another, another thing to talk about. So this is $28 and this is their stick blushes. And um, I got the shade Raspberry. Um, I'm sorry, but I love like bright pink blushes. So this is, this is $28, like I said, and it comes with a brush. Um, I used, so I'm gonna use a, I will, <laughs> so I'm gonna use my regular brush on um, on this side, and I'll use um, the brush that comes with this on, on this side. So um, this is a shade Raspberry, and um, you get a load of product. So like, and I've been wanting to try his stuff. So, um, Now, I know it looks scary at first, but, um, so I think one of the, so I'm sorry, I know I'm literally all over the place, but a lot of influencers that I've tried this say that they don't like the brush, and I think it's because I think I, when a lot of people do it, they rub it. Like, that's going to obviously pick up your foundation brush. Um, your foundation brush, oh my god, I can't even speak. But yeah, you just... You just you're just supposed to tap just like this but I know it I know it looks scary on camera but it's really it looks brighter on on the stick but when you apply it it's actually not that bright um or scary you know what I mean here let me give you um a swatch look at that that's freaking gorgeous so yeah, that's what this looks like. And then like always like go over with like a sponge. Okay, now I'm gonna do this side. So, like, personally, um, I think this does the exact same as the little brush on, on, um, here, as I'm seeing it right now. Um, I don't really see a difference, um, 
So the brush, is it necessary? No, but it is handy. Like if you're on the go and stuff and say like you forget your um, freaking um, uh, blush brush or say like like for me right now, like my brush, my blush brush is about to break. So um, I have like a brush. We don't know. I feel like it is kind of unnecessary, but I get, I do get what he was doing. So, um, but I really like this. Definitely go pick this up. I would definitely suggest these and the Rare Beauty Cream blushes at um, Sephora in the Sephora sale. So, um, next, I think we have the, uh, where is it? Oh, here they are. That's right in front of me. So, um, um, so I have the Revolution Bright Light Highlighter, and this is in Beam Pink. So, it's like in one of these. I haven't swatched it. It's so satisfying. Look at this. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do a swatch. Okay, cute. Now, I might be kinda, okay. Oh, okay, that's pretty. Okay. So, let's just apply it, I guess. That's pretty. See, I don't know. I don't understand cream highlighters. Um, maybe, I don't know. If they're, maybe they're just better for like um, people who do more like natural makeup. But like, like for me to just use like an oomph, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't give me that vibe. Like, to me, this is like cute little glowy, but also the other half of me is saying, this is literally like sweat. So like, I'm just kind of like, I'm like hit and miss with these. Um, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about cream highlighters? Okay, and now we have the Revolution um, Eye Bright Illuminating Under Eye Concealer in the shade Fair, and this has vitamin C in it. Um, so I kind of wonder if this could, this could be a dupe for the uh, Maybelline one. I can't remember the name of it. I'll put a picture of it somewhere, but, um, oh no, <laughs> oh no, 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 oh no. Look how yellow that is. Well, so I want, let, let's try something. So on this side, I'm just gonna use this one. And then on this eye, I'm gonna use it with this and then on top of my Too Faced one. So let's, let's just try it guys. I'm really nervous. Oh my gosh. Oh, it does it does add some brightness though. guys oh my god okay let's put this other eye out and then we're gonna chat okay so this is so freaking
freaking weird, okay? So I don't even know if I can even say that I like this or that I can even recommend it to you guys. Um, I don't think there were a lot of shades in this concealer. So I th I'm pretty sure that this was the lightest one. Um, but um, I'll put I'll put stuff on the screen and let you guys know. But um, when you, <laughs> this just blows my mind. So when you put it on your hand, look at that, look at that, okay? It's like so freaking orange, it's weird. And then like when I put it on my face, I'm just like, oh, Kelly has smooth under eyes. Like, I weirdly like this because when I, this just, I'm just, I'm so blown away. Like this is so, it's so pretty. Um, now obviously you can, I can still kind of see like my, 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 my circles. Um, so I don't think this is going to be like full coverage, but I really like this. <laughs> I don't know why. I just really do. Um, so yeah. Okay. So next we have the ColourPop blushes and, um, I think I'm gonna use the Marguerite one. I think this one is my favorite. Um, I say as I nearly drop it. Um, it's really pretty. Um, these are the super shock shadows and these ones are matte. And I know it looks really scary, but these are as pigmented. Um, they're, you kind of have to build them up aren't the pigmented as blushes so I will say I do like these but I feel like I would you should I would use them mostly probably when I'm like going out or something because um, they're not as pigmented and there's nothing wrong with it not being as um pigmented um it's just kind of got that soft look you know just like that like it's cute, I love it so much. So actually what I did the other day was I took this other Super Shock Shadow and this is the shade uh, Botanier. I don't know really how you say it. And I've really been, I've recently been using it as like highlighter. This little one size liquid eyeshadow that I'm obsessed with. Um, this is in the shade Everything and More, and I'm gonna use this as like a little inner corner. love the um elf liquid eyeshadows you will love these those are like and the elf ones are really good but if you want something just like a little bit better go to one size bitch okay and now we have these glossy lip stains so um i might use the um sun kiss one I really like this one a lot. <gasps> My eye is watering, but this is the finished look, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I think this is really pretty. Um, like, holy, like. This is really, really cute. But, um, if you made it to the end of the video, 
thank you so much. Now we're gonna go over the products and what I think of them. So I think, I think I like everything pretty much. There's just some things where I'm kind of just like, eh, you know? So, um, let's go ahead and just start with the pluses, you know? I love this eyeshadow palette. Like, oh my gosh, best collab, not collab, best collection ColourPop has done all freaking year 2022. Okay, okay. Um, so go get the collection when it restocks. Um, I don't have a code. Um, <laughs> use code trend mood right check out. <laughs> um, um, okay, let's see what else I like. I like I really like these blushes. They're really, really nice. Um, they aren't crazy pigmented, so you have to build them up. So if you like to build up blushes, you will like these blushes as well. Um, I'm obsessed with this Mario stick, guys. I'm gonna be getting like the rest of the shades and more of this stuff, so stay tuned for that. Um, I really like this foundation. Um, I think it said it's supposed to blur, and I think it did blur some. Um, let me know if you guys tried this foundation yet and what you guys think of it. I think it's really, really interesting. And then I really like the, the lip tints. I put a gloss, I put a gloss on afterwards. I put the NYX, um, this is Deuce Gloss. This is the Strawberry Flex one, I think. Um, but I think that is everything that like, I would like definitely like, you know, like re, um, repurchase. Um, okay, so oh yeah and then the one size um glitter shadows like these are look at that holy shit um if i can find let me uh, okay here it is okay so um these things i don't know if i would repurchase <laughs> um i'm just kind of mad like see like i need it so like like, the one thing that I'm gonna keep testing is this concealer from Revolution. I don't know, guys. It is freaking weird. Like, look at my hand. It doesn't match it, but, like, it blended so seamlessly under my under eyes. Like, how does it not match my arm, but it matches my face? I'm sorry. That's kind of weird, though. <laughs> um, so, yeah, there's that. And then, um, there's this, like, this, this highlighter, like, I'm, I'm gonna keep using it. I don't know if I'm using these wrong. Like, you just put it on like you would with highlighter, right? But like, like I see, I see, I like, I, I get the, sh I get the sheen. I get the sheen and I just, I don't know. Please help us sister out in the comments. Like, let me know what I'm doing wrong. You know, like, I just wanna know what I'm doing wrong, okay? And then, I don't know. I don't think I really like these Super Shock shadows. <laughs> like, I'm still gonna use them, obviously. They're really, really cute, and I like the shimmer ones really, really, like, the shimmer ones are, like, um, really, like, are really pretty. Like, the purple one is still pretty good, but, the see, the more you get into them, like, it starts to lose its sheen. Like, it starts to look like this, and I don't, like, it, it's just gone. Like, like, it was, like, see, the purple swatch, um, where's the purple swatch? The purple swatch is right here, and that's what that gold should look like. And it's still like that. It's just not as pigmented, you know? I don't know. They're not my favorite, guys. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, but otherwise, like, they're, they're still fun. They're still fun colors. Um, I bet if you scrape it out with like a spatula and you add some mixing medium to it, it will be really pretty as well. But like the thing is like, you shouldn't have to do that. Like they formulated it. So like ColourPop, I'm sorry, but you need a new formulation. <laughs> okay. So, um, ah, my eyes are watering good. Okay, so this is the end of the video, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see next on my YouTube channel or what you would like for me to review. Um, so, um, and let me know if you've tried any of this stuff. Um, so, yeah, 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button as it helps my channel out a lot. Hit the bell for notifications so you know whenever I upload a brand new video. And of course, leave me a comment down below and check the description box for all the project details and other things mentioned in this video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, bye.